The name Michael in Hebrew means, who is like God. Saint Michael is one of the principal angels. His name was the war cry of the good angels in the battle fought in heaven against the devil and his followers. Four times his name is recorded in scripture. Welcome to SD Kaysen Courses. Today's topic is Saint Michael. Let's begin. The first time Michael is mentioned in the Bible is in Daniel chapter 10, verse 13. Gabriel says to Daniel, when Daniel asks God to permit the Jews to return to Jerusalem, quote, the angel of the kingdom of the Persians resisted me, and behold, Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me, and none is my helper in all these things but Michael your prince, unquote. The second mention of St. Michael is in Daniel chapter 12 when the angel speaks of the end of the world, and the Antichrist says, at that time shall Michael rise up, the great prince, who standeth for the children of thy people. The third mention of St. Michael is in the Catholic epistle of St. Jude, when Michael the archangel, disputing with the devil, contended about the body of Moses. The epistle of St. Jude alludes to an ancient Jewish tradition about a dispute between Michael and Satan over the body of Moses. This account can also be found in the apocryphal book on the Assumption of Moses. St. Michael hid the tomb of Moses to prevent the Jewish people from falling into the sin of hero worship. Meanwhile, Satan tried to seduce them by revealing the tomb. According to the revelation of Moses, an apocryphal gospel, St. Michael is also said to guard Eve's body. The fourth mention of St. Michael is in the book of Apocalypse, chapter 12, verse 7. And there was a great battle in heaven. Michael and his angels fought with the dragon. In this quote, St. John discusses the ultimate battle that will take place at the end of time, similar to the conflict that occurred in heaven at the beginning of time. The fathers of the church believe that St. Michael is often referred to in scripture, even when not explicitly named. They suggest that he was the cherub guarding the entrance to paradise to prevent access to the tree of life, Genesis chapter 3, verse 24, the angel who conveyed the Ten Commandments to God's chosen people, and the one who hindered Balaam's path, Numbers chapter 22, verse 22. Additionally, he led the charge against Sennacherib's army, 2 Kings chapter 19, verse 35. Christian tradition gives St. Michael four offices to fight against Satan, to rescue the faithful souls from the enemy's power, especially at the hour of death. He was considered the champion of God's people, Jews in the Old Law and Christians in the New Testament. He is the patron of the Church and the orders of knights during the Middle Ages. To call away from earth and bring men's souls to judgment, opinions on St. Michael's rank in the celestial hierarchy vary among scholars and religious figures. Some believe he is the leader of all angels, while others think he is the prince of the seraphim. However, according to St. Thomas, he is the prince of the lowest choir of angels. The Roman liturgy refers to him as princeps militiae coelestisquem honorificant angelorum civs. The Mozarabic breviary hymn places him above the 24 elders, and the Greek liturgy calls him archistrategos, meaning highest general. Veneration St. Michael, who is known as the defender of the Jewish people, was also considered by some early Christians to be their champion in war. However, they also looked to other martyrs, such as St. George, St. Theodore, St. Demetrius, St. Sergius, St. Procopius, and St. Mercurius as military patrons. Instead, St. Michael was given the responsibility of caring for the sick. He was first venerated in Phrygia, where his reputation as an angelic healer overshadowed his involvement in military affairs. This location became the center of veneration of the holy angels, with a particular focus on St. Michael. Legend has it that St. Michael caused a healing spring to appear at Chirotopa near Colossae in ancient times. Those who bathed in the spring and invoked the Blessed Trinity and St. Michael were said to have been cured of their ailments. One of the most famous stories about St. Michael involves the springs he is said to have drawn from a rock at Colossae. The pagans attempted to destroy the sanctuary by directing a stream at it, but St. Michael split the rock with lightning and created a new bed for the stream. The waters from this gorge were forever sanctified. The Greeks celebrate this event with a feast on September 6th. Additionally, hot springs in Pythia and other places in Asia were dedicated to St. Michael. St. Michael was a revered healer in Constantinople. The Michaelian, his main sanctuary, was located in Sosthenion, approximately 50 miles south of the city. It was said that the archangel appeared to Emperor Constantine there, 
and the sick would spend the night in the church, hoping for a manifestation of St. Michael. His feast was celebrated on June 9th. Another well-known church was situated within the city walls, at the thermal baths of Emperor Arcadius. The Synaxis of the Archangel was celebrated there on November 8th. This feast became popular in the Greek, Syrian, Armenian, and Coptic churches, and is now the primary feast of St. Michael in the Orient. While it may have originated in Phrygia, it was celebrated at the Thermae of Arcadius in Constantinople, Martino, Annus Greco-Slavic, November 8th. Other feasts of St. Michael in Constantinople included October 27th at the Promotu Church, June 18th at the Church of St. Julian at the Forum, and December 10th at Athea. In Egypt, the Christians consider the Nile River a significant source of life and have placed it under the protection of St. Michael. They celebrate a special commemoration of the Archangel on the 12th of every month and adopt the Greek feast on November 12th. However, they consider June 12th a mandatory holiday to celebrate the Feast of St. Michael, as it marks the beginning of the Nile's annual rise. In Rome, there are several references to the Feast of St. Michael the Archangel. The Leonine Sacramentary from the 6th century mentions Natale Basilicae Angeli via Salaria on September 30th, and three of the five masses for this feast mention St. Michael. The Galatian Sacramentary from the 7th century refers to the feast as Es Michaelis Archangeli. In contrast, the Gregorian Sacramentary from the 8th century mentions Dedicatio Basilionis Es Angeli Michaelis on September 29th. A manuscript also adds via Salaria to the latter reference. The Via Salaria Church, called Basilica Archangeli in Septimo in the 9th century, was located six miles north of the city and has been gone for a thousand years. In Rome, St. Michael was also known as the Heavenly Physician. According to a legend from the 10th century, he appeared over the Moles Hadriani, Castel Dies Angelo, in 950 during a procession led by St. Gregory against the plague, ending the disease. Boniface IV, 608-615, built a church on the Moles Hadriani in honor of St. Michael, known as St. Michaelis inter nubis in Summitati Circi. St. Michael's apparition on Monte Gargano is well known, as recounted in the Roman breviary on May 8th. After losing his status as a patron of war, his original glory was restored through his intercession. The Lombards of Sapontum credited their victory over the Greek Neapolitans to St. Michael's intercession on May 8, 663. The Church of Sapontum established a special feast in honor of the Archangel to commemorate this victory, which has since spread throughout the Latin Church. Although initially intended to honor the victory, the feast is now called Apparitio S. Michaelis since the time of Pius V. St. Michael is the patron saint of mariners and has a famous sanctuary at Mont St. Michel in Normandy's Diocese of Coutances. According to legend, he appeared there in 708 to St. Aubert, the Bishop of Avranches. In Normandy, his feast day, S. Michaelis in Periculo Marie, or in Monte Tumba, was celebrated on October 18th to commemorate the dedication of the first church on October 16th, 710. Nowadays, the feast day is only observed in the Diocese of Coutances. In Germany, St. Michael replaced the pagan god Wotan after the country's evangelization. This led to establishment of various mountain chapels of St. Michael throughout Germany. As many mountains were considered sacred to Wotan, it is believed that St. Rabanus Maurus of Fulda, who died in 856, composed the hymns of the Roman office. In art, St. Michael is depicted as a warrior angel wearing a helmet and fully armed with a sword and shield. The shield often bears the Latin inscription, Quisut Deus. St. Michael is shown standing over a dragon, which he sometimes pierces with a lance. He also holds a pair of scales, in which he weighs the souls of the departed or the book of life, to indicate his involvement in the judgment. His feast day, September 29th, was celebrated in the Middle Ages as a holy day of obligation. Still, it was gradually abolished, along with several other feasts since the 18th century. Michaelmas Day in England and other countries is a regular quarter day for settling rents and accounts. However, it is no longer notable for the hospitality with which it was previously celebrated. 
It was customary to have a stubble goose dressed on Michaelmas Day since they were believed to be of perfect quality around this time. In some parishes, such as the Isle of Skye, a procession was held on this day, and a cake, called St. Michael's Bannock, was baked. In short, the name Michael means, who is like God, and St. Michael is one of the principal angels mentioned in the Bible. He is known for his role in the battle between the good angels and the devil in heaven. St. Michael is mentioned four times in scripture and is associated with various duties, including fighting against Satan, rescuing faithful souls, and calling away men's souls to judgment. He is also known for his role as an angelic healer and is associated with several healing springs. And that was St. Michael in a nutshell. Thanks for learning with us. And until next time, may God bless you forever.